don't look that nervous, do I? Uh, yeah, just uh, yeah. 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 How's, it, how's it going, guys? Hey, girl, hey! Oh. That comes later. A little later. Marshall wants to know if you'll take your pants off. I'm sorry. He said the shirt would be fine too. Maybe later. No, but um, <clears throat> you know what's funny, guys? What I, I really started like noticing and enjoying a lot more was that uh, that you know now that we're older and stuff, that our imaginations as people we, we tend to lose it a little more. And uh, kind of sucks, cause I was hanging out with my friend Mark, and we were with our girlfriends. And you know, boyfriends. We were with your boyfriends. Uh, <laughs> all right. And uh, you know, they're little white girls, you know, and they're just like, oh my god, hey, let's go to the haunted forest out in Pasadena, yeah? <laughs> Anybody heard of that haunted forest out in Pasadena? Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. It's gay. But uh, yeah, so you're the guy with girls. You're, oh, let's go. I was like, alright, let's go. I'll scare the shit out of you guys a little bit, you know? So we ended up going out there, you know, it was cool. But the funny thing is, when you're out there in the pitch dark, walking around a fucking forest, with a 99 cent flashlight that goes out like every five seconds, it's got to shake it and shit, you know, things do tend to get a little scary. Like, you know, I, I could have sworn I heard like the bushes just rattling through me. You know, your logical side of your brain's like, nah, it's just a rabbit or like a squirrel. Fuck no, your, your, your imagination sounds like, no, that was like an alpha male fucking gorilla running through the bushes, dude, what the fuck? You're like, I was expecting Bigfoot himself to come out and get, get away, this is haunted. Yeah, so, and the girls are like, no, we want to keep going more, let's just go on the haunted trail, let's go, it's here. Alright, I guess. Get up there more and we see this big abandoned house. Why? I don't want to die. Uh, so, you know, I'm looking at my friend Mark, I'm like, hey dude, I'm giving him that look like, hell no, I don't want to go in there. And he's looking, giving me that look like, hell no, I don't want to go in there either. And you know, the, the girls right there are like, well, you guys are pussies. I'm like, well, fuck, dude. But it was a cool thing, we didn't have to go in the house, because I'll tell you why, because um, Crystal, my girlfriend at the time, she, uh, well, we're all talking in the group, you know, and it's all, it's all good, and she just, she said, she said that she had looked behind me. I kid you not, that's what she said, verbatim. She looks behind me, she sees a guy in a white mask, wearing a hood, and she just goes, ah! What the fuck was that? Ah! And I'm like, what? What's going on? There's a man over there! He's in the bushes! And he's gonna kill us! I swear to God! He gave me that look! You just said he was wearing a mask. <laughs> And that, that's great, dude. I was just laughing. I was like, finally, we get a fucking leave. Let's go. But it wasn't like, it's not just her. Like, when you're in the dark and shit, you start getting all paranoia and stuff. And it's contagious, dude. As soon as she started seeing shit, Sonya started seeing shit. I saw a pterodactyl in the air ready to fucking swoop down on us. Ah! Get the fuck out of here! Ran in the car as fast as we could. Shit, dude. So yeah, dude, I'm not even playing about that. But little kids, dude, they have the dopest imagination, dude. My little nephews are like five, six years old. I'm like, here's a stick and an empty shampoo bottle. Go have fun, dude. He's a lightsaber! Woo! And the empty shampoo bottle is a little machine gun. I'm like, dude, I don't know where they're getting this shit out, but it's awesome, it's amazing, I love it. I wish, I wish I had the imagination they did still now. Like, I'd make a superhero. Like, an ultra ego, I'd be a superhero. That'd be awesome. I'd be Captain Dick, dude. Yeah. Captain Dick. What'd you say? I'm Captain Dick, bitch. What's up? Fight crime. Protect the innocent. Works for world peace. And all unsatisfied women in the world. That'd be my thing right there. It'd be perfect. <laughs> yeah, I totally, I totally have a whole scenario of what happened once when I was Captain Dick too. It was awesome. I'll tell you. 
you know, I was just uh, flying around the city, you know, just chilling out, looking for um, unsatisfied women, slash any crime figures out there, the villains. And I saw one, they were robbing a bank, and I flew down, and I was like, HALT, VILLAINS! Drop the money, you're under arrest. They're looking at me like, who the fuck is this guy? Look at him, he's got a big wiener outfit on, look at this guy. Drop it now, do you know who I am? They're like, no, but we're gonna blow your fucking head off right now if you fucking don't get out of our way. I'm like, well, let me remind you. I shoot fireballs from my ass. I got my super atomic dick slap that will render you unconscious. And I have my special move, instant orgasm. Skip it the Yeah, the ladies like that one. Yeah, but they were like, oh shit, yeah, it's Captain fucking Dick. You gotta get out of here. I'm like, don't move, or I will get you. The lady comes up, Dad, Captain Dick, they're getting away. Don't worry, beautiful. I got it. It's my super sticky cum. They're not going anywhere for about 24 hours. That's enough fun. That's enough time for the authorities to come and pick up the trash. Oh my god, Captain Dick, you saved the day! Yes, I know, my dear. But if you want to come by and thank me some more, you can come by my house later. But until now, I'm Captain Dick, a.k.a. Michael Ochoa, guys. I'll see you later. Alright, give it up in the house tonight, that's it!